Okay, welcome back to Hangout and Art. Um, we're doing some jelly plating on the 16 inch by 20 inch jelly plate. Um, this isn't a tutorial, this is just me doing some art and hanging out with friends, talking to them in chat. All right, is anybody there? Hi, Vaughn. Okay, I, I'm at a diff, I, hey, Dorothy, okay. Did you guys have to go out and come back in or is this back where I was before? Oh, okay. Okay, because I had to close the other one and start a new one. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. All right, I'm back on everything. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another base print and then I'm gonna try a large stencil over it on the newsprint and see how that turns out. Only because I like this so much, I don't wanna put a stencil. Ooh. I wanna put a stencil over this because I think it's really cool. All right. Colors. How about some blue? Hey, Kim. All right, here's some blue. And kind of like this, this hot pinky color. Let's do some shimmery silver. <laughs> well, you should know about cars, Norma. That's your that's what you're dealing with every day. I I'd, I'd go to you for car advice. Okay, let's see. All right, so with the, this big plate, you've got to make sure you get lots of paint, not lots, but enough paint up to the up in the corners let's get some silver in here see it's easy not get more silver
So Kim, how, how's that BFET doing? Just messing around with these colors here, seeing what they do. Yeah, they're kind of different, Norma. But I like, I don't know, I just like playing around with different colors. So who all jelly, who all jelly plates here? Yeah, you've been a little bit busy, Sophia. How old's your daughter that's going to have surgery? You have two? Oh, Christy, open them up. I love jelly. I love jelly plating. If I had to pick one, if only one, I could do one thing, it would be jelly print. Okay, let me get the... So here's the newest print. Okay. Okay. Well, it, see, at least all that's done. Then the day you go for the surgery, you just go in, you're all set. Do you, do you have a date yet for the surgery? All right, so really press on the sides with this big plate because the paint seems to be thicker around the edges. Oh, that's good. That's good. She'll be familiar with it then. That helps. Okay. Now... Okay, so it's coming up soon. Oh, this is going to be really pretty. I, I love the, the image tra transfers you've done, Norma. I, that's one thing I haven't done yet are image transfers. I need to uh, try those. Okay, yeah, isn't that cool? I love how, let me see if I can. Show a little bit closer. I just love how all these colors mixed up. Is that cool? 
Okay, so what I'm going to do, see this dries really quick, which is nice. I'm going to put this aside, and then I got a big stencil that I can use. I know it's, you probably have to figure out um, like what's the best amount of paint, like how thick you need to put the paint on Norma and what's the best um, transfer like pages to use. I'm sure that all makes a difference. You have this big plate, Dorothy. It'll be perfect for fabric. It'll be perfect. You can, you should, um, when you're feeling up to it, how are you feeling, Dorothy? Hopefully you're not as sore as you were. Do it on, do it on stream, Dorothy, if you can. Okay, so. Okay, so I saw these at Michael's and knew that I was going to be getting the big jelly plate, so I got them on sale. Have you tried it, Kimberly? I haven't even tried it yet. Shannon Green does it. All right, so. That might not be bad. That's almost like a mask. Oh, and there's more. They could have cut more out, but they didn't. Okay. And that went to the search. Oh, good, Dorothy. What they say? What they say about the bruises and stuff? Okay, here's the other one I got. That one, that's kind of cool. All right, I've got one more that I'm going to open up. I've got this one. I think I might, maybe I'll do this one. Does anybody know if um, if Dee Dee's streaming tomorrow morning?
Okay, and then here's this one. I think I'll do that one. Oh, okay, good, good. Did she um, did she say what she was going to do, Norma? All right. So what? Color. What color should I put on here? Oh, I know, Dorothy, but you know what? The, the more you feel better, you'll, you'll get used to it and won't even think about it. You probably are still hurting a little bit. I know it is like a henna pattern or kind of Moroccan looking. Um, okay, what colors would look good with this? I don't know if I don't know if the gold would show up. Why don't I do orange yellows? Yeah. I'm thinking maybe how about gold and copper or something? Maybe a dab of, not the blue. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to think. These, these two mixed together. Or should I do the copper instead of the, what color is this, crimson? Copper, copper and gold. I need to find the copper. Uh, that's Rosanna. Here we go. I might do these two with a touch of this. All right. So let's remember the circle thing is here. Okay. to be solid. I kind of want to mix. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I want. I bet Barb is streaming tomorrow. Hopefully she will. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit. Here it is. Hi, Diane. Yes, Xander's a trooper. I think, just think she wants to be done with it. That's how I would be anyway. Hey, is Beth still there? Are you working on your jelly plate, Beth? Ooh, I thought I gouged my jelly plate, but that's... Okay. Ew. Got a paint booger. Yucky. All right. Okay, that should give some good, we'll see how that works. Ah. All right, so let's set this on top of here. This on here, and I want to make sure I can. This isn't too thick of a stencil, so I think it should it shouldn't be too hard to get the pattern. But you want to make sure I get the whole pattern. Hey, Dorothy, how are her VIP streams? Oh, there you are, Beth. How's your how's your jelly plate going? And Christy, did you take yours out of the packaging yet? Oh, I think this is gonna turn out good. You have to are you on um are you on Twitter or Instagram? You have to post pictures. Oh, okay, Christy, maybe next time. Hey, Norma, maybe next time I do this, I'll try to do the, um, the transfers and you can kind of walk me through it. Oh, okay. I'll look for you, Beth. I'm. What's my name on Instagram? Kathleen Burke, I think, on Instagram. But I'll look for you. Post them on there. Yeah, because I know I'm gonna. I want to try it, but if you know, I goof up. It's if I've got somebody who's done it before. It'd be nice, like to know, like if I have too much paint, not enough paint. All right, let's see. Oh, this is kind of cool. 
All right. Yeah, I like mixing the colors, you know, so it's not just flat. This one has a little bit of sparkle. All right, let's put this aside. And then we've got... See if I can get any paint off of this onto my paper. Well, a little bit came off of there. All right, what should we do with this? Let me pick up some of these colors. All right, don't mind me. I'm just trying to figure out what to what color to use with this. Bye, Norma. It was good seeing you. Thanks for coming. Almost tempted to do that with some silver. Oh, here's the silver. All right, let's try this, see if it turns out like I think it might. Oh, here's some more silver. So I'm going to have to get some more of the PBO paints. These are, oh, there. That's not too bad. All right. 
Let's put this on first so it's more shiny. Oh, thanks, Diane. I'm just messing around with different colors here. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. But we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it won't look too bad. Now, I think I may go back to the B paper on this one so it's more translucent. And since there's a lot of paint on here, I know that that, I don't think that'll rip. All right. Okay, let's see what happens. That should pull everything up. There. Let's see what happens. Oh, a sponge roller to put the paint on or a sponge roller to press in, to press on top. I, I use a sponge roller sometime if it's um, if it's a deeper stencil. But that's a good idea, like to get into the cracks and stuff. I think a sponge roller can help. I want to make sure I pick everything up. All right, so I guess Vicki is going to be coming on in about 20 minutes. So that should give me time for a couple more pulls. So Mitz, did you get the, the medical paper and the B paper? Or did you not get any paper? Bye, Sophia, thanks for coming. Glad you were able to take some time. This will be interesting. <laughs> oh, so okay, so you got the um, the medical paper and the B paper. I just it's a good deal if you're gonna be like doing a lot of jelly printing or stent, you know, stenciling and collaging. I think it's the most cost efficient way to do it. So with the um, medical paper, I think as long as I think on a smaller jelly plate, and if you're doing it on the bigger jelly plate, just be careful with the amount of paint you use. But this B paper, it's the B tracing paper that came in a roll, I think it was about $17. This is really sturdy. Now there's a lot of paint on here, so we'll see what happens. But it doesn't, it doesn't seem to, it doesn't look like it's gonna tear.
Yep, no tears. And there was a lot of paint on here, too. Okay, so you do have to be careful. My B paper, let me see if I can find the little tickets. Okay, yours is 12 inches by 50 yards. Okay, that's this is 20 inches by 50 yards. So mine's a little bit wider, but the same length. And I think the medical paper was like 18 inches by... 100 yards or 50 yards, I'm not sure. Okay, so the one thing you have to be careful though is um, if you don't want wrinkles on the print, you need to figure that out. Just, I think I kind of rushed when I put this on. But if you put it on slower, you won't get all the wrinkles. But then this kind of gives it more character. Okay. How's that? There. So, yeah. So, this will be good for collage paper and stuff like that. And I have no clue what I'm going to create with it. I'll probably use it for um, those papers I made today. I'll use for collage paper. And then eventually, I would like to do like on a nice sheet of um, mixed media paper, maybe. Just a nice piece of art on the big jelly plate. But I want to play around with it a bunch before I do anything like that. Oh, I know. I have I have deli paper, but I use it all the time. I use the deli paper in between my pages when I'm painting in my journal. And then I use the scraps for collage. <laughs> I know it's like the never-ending box. Because I got, I have two things of deli paper. I have the one like Patty got, which is more papery, and then the other one that's more waxy. And the waxy one, I use in between my sh my pages when I'm painting. All right, what should we do? Should we do something with this? Let's see. Okay, so I have my Diet Coke here which I love Diet Coke. I always have a Diet Coke going when I art, but I've been doing, um, I've been doing uh, brush lettering with Sumi ink. So I keep, when I go to reach for my Diet Coke, I keep wanting to grab this. <laughs> Luckily I haven't drank any. All right. I look over, I go to reach for it, I'm like, ugh, no, that's not my Diet Coke. Okay. All right, let's put some color on this, and I'll use one of the other stencils and see what happens. Huh. 
Hi, Bunny. All right, here's a color I don't use very often. Oh, wow, this I think was my daughter's paint from high school. It's still good. Ooh. Okay. Oh, let's do some orange. Let's do orange and yellow. Um, I did see, she did tweet, uh, uh, did, she did tweet on CB's, um, face that she did, the picture, the new, uh, face that she did. I saw her every once in a while. I see her tweeting. Yeah, same here, Mets. All right, let's see what happens here. Well, these are bright. Let's get some more yellow on here. Yeah, I haven't heard. I mean, she seems okay. I haven't heard that she's not. I just, you know, every once in a while. That happens, though. People get busy, and you don't see them for a while, and then you see them when they're not as busy. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll do this on the B paper and we'll do a uh, stencil on the B paper too. So anybody working on projects or doing anything fun? Yeah, they do fun. I mean, I had, I've been art journaling, I think now I've almost nine years, maybe it could be longer, but there was a period of time where I didn't really come on or do any art for a couple of years. And then all of a sudden I came back and realized how much I liked it. And even then, you know, with family stuff, it's hard sometimes. But the nice thing is everybody's so nice here. If you're not here for a while, you know, and everyone's so welcoming all the time to new people or if you come back after not being here. Okay, let me get a piece of B paper. Alright, so what's cool with this is all those the little folds I got from before are going to make a nice pattern on here. This is a great group of people because it's just that everyone's so nice. You hear, um, I don't know, sometimes people get catty or get kind of clicky, but just here I think everybody just keeps it to art. We keep everything else out of it. And we talk about other stuff sometimes, but I think the key, the common thing is, is art.
All right, let's see. Oh, this is going to be really cool with the leftover from the last pull. I don't know if you can see that. I have to figure out, I have to do something with my lighting. It's so glary. Oof, that doesn't help. There. Hey, Judy, you still are still there. Okay, let's do, let's do a, uh, what color should I do the stencil? What color should I put down for the stencil? Where's my lid? There. Yeah, this one is cool. Yeah, I like the textures from the last pull. That's why I never clean my jelly plate. What, I shouldn't say never. Once in a while, I do go over and I clean it really good with a baby wipe. And I keep put, wiping it with a baby wipe till I think it's clean. And then I go over with mineral oil and you in a paper towel to wipe off the mineral oil. You would not believe how much paint still comes off. But I do that maybe, I don't know, once a year. Okay. What should we do on top of that? Should we do something really bright? Should I do a really bright orange? Should I, let's do fluorescent orange and see what happens. We'll just do straight. Oh, I know, fluorescent orange, and where's that? Where's that red I was liking? In this. Dark metallics. Okay, I will do that. I'll do the dark metallics on the next one. I should have time for one more after this, and then uh, Vicky should be streaming. Okay. All right, here we go. That is bright, but it's going to be, it's iridescent, so it's going to be a little translucent. So let's do this. I love these little bits that got left behind from the wrinkles of the last pull. Remember to make sure the edges get wet. That's some bright orange. I like that. Okay. Oh, you're there. Okay. Ooh, this one's. Oh, this almost fits the whole paper. Cool. I'll go this way. Uh, let's go this way because it fits up more of the paper. Okay, put this down.
Oh my God. Has anybody gone to Hobby Lobby? I think, did Janet say she was going to stop? I don't know if she did. I am not going to Hobby Lobby. Because there's really not one thing I need. There, that's a spongy, spongy grayer. See if that gets in those grooves any better. Oh, that's good, Vaughn. Did you? Did they have good prices? I think so, Mitz. Um, Jennifer, who I hadn't heard from in a while, um, tweeted a picture that she that somebody else had tweeted that uh, they had all their Tim Holtz stuff on sale and they're getting to re ready to restock again. Yeah, isn't that the truth? You always you always need storage stuff. Cool, I think. Isn't that cool? I like that. And this is also, this is on that B tracing paper, so it's kind of sheer. So it'll be fun to kind of uh, play around with it with some matte medium or some glue and see, see how it does on top of other stuff. Okay, let's do one more. I've got one more. I've got one more. Um, oh, here, let me do this. See if I can get some paint. Put that aside. I don't want to get paint on that. Let me see if I can get some paint on here. So this will be good. I'll have a background started on this journal to work on. I like having leftovers on a journal page instead of having to start with a blank page. Yeah, Gilly, these are turning out good. All right. Oh, some came off. That's kind of cool. All right, let's do one more, and then Vicky should be coming on. All right. So, Mitz, you wanted to do like dark metallics. Let's do. Mm, that's not metallic. Do this to make it shiny. Oops, excuse me. All right, so this will be on there to make it shiny. And then I'll do a darker purple. Mm. Let's see. Oh, come on, I gotta have darker purple. Oh my gosh. Let's 
All right, let's try this. Feel better, Judy? <laughs> hey, I have a son. <laughs> I can I can respond to anything. This one from earlier, it's also on the paper. spongy roller helps get into the crevices. So is Vicky on yet? Does anybody know? I'm going to do this and then finish it off with one more cold to clean everything off. Oops. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to do one more pull and then I'll be out of here. I want to kind of clean that off. Let's see if I can get any paint on here. Ugh, I don't know what that is. Paint booger. All right. All right, what color, what color, what color? Oh, okay. All right, one more pull. I know that's a cool stencil, isn't it? What color should I use for the cleanup? Color for the cleanup. Should I do titanium? Or what's that? Oh, Titan Buff. Maybe a Titan Buff. Titan Buff, okay. Now <laughs> let's make sure I have some. There's titanium white, which is almost gone. Come on, I gotta have a tight. 
There's white. Gold. Okay, Vaughn, thanks for coming. See you later. Ugh, black. No, I'm not doing black. I don't want to end in black. Oh, how about bronze? Because I can't, I don't know what happened to my Titan buff. Oh, wait, here it is. Okay, I'll bleach titanium. Here we go. All right. Oh, shoot. I used the roller sponge on the paint. Hold on a sec. that in some water pretty quick. Darn it. I was so careful the last time. Damn, all right. All right, where's my, where's my prayer? Anyone see my, oh, here it is. Eileen, where have you been? Were you shopping? What did you do today, Eileen? Oh, you're welcome, Gilly. I'm just going to do this last one, and then you guys can head over to Vicky's. Eileen, what did you do today? Look at, I'm using, it's 16 by 20. Ah, cool. Post, uh, post pictures and um, do, do post it up on your blog too, right, Eileen? I'm going to put a little bit more. Paint on this. I think I need more on no here. Well post the um post the cover. Okay. Hey Eileen, I'm using my big paper. Oh, okay, Beth. Thanks for reminding me. And look for me, too. I think it's Kathleen Berg is what I'm under on Instagram. Okay. Here we go. It's the big plate's really fun. All right. All right. I'm doing the B paper was really good on the big plate. The medical paper, you have to be careful how much paint you put on. And the thick... Um, newsprint worked really good too. I think I think I like this B tracing paper the best, and I just I need to work with the medical paper some more because I have a feeling that's going to be really good collaging with, like it'll disappear into the like, pages. Okay, so this went on nice and smooth. Only a couple wrinkles. All right, I'm going to really rub this in because that was a lot of paint on top. We'll see what happens. 
Okay. Okay, Beth. Okay, po post your pictures. Yes. And you know what other kind of paper? I want to try sprays on there. In fact, I just got some new distress, not the distress oxides. I don't think those are out yet, but I did get some. I bought some more distress inks, which I didn't have. But I think the sprays will be good. The sprays will be really good on the medical paper because one side of the medical paper is more is more like tissue paper. Oh, you can, when are they in? Are they ready to be mailed or did you pre-order? Okay, are we ready? Let's see what happens. Did you mince? Oh, they're gonna ship out now. Mints, did you order from Joggles? All right, here we go. I hope it works. Oh, I think, I think it's going to. All right. See, this bead paper is really strong. I really like this paper. All righty. Here, let me turn this light off. Oh, that helps. Okay. Here we go. Oh, look at all that texture in there. Isn't that cool? Okay, so the other kind of paper I got, I don't think it'll work on the jelly plate. I got the glassine paper for alcoholics. I don't know, I don't think the acrylics will, I don't think the acrylics will stick to it, you know, if I use it on the jelly plate. But, um, but the distress sprays, that might be fun to use on the distress sprays. But yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Mitts. <laughs> We're all there. Okay, well, thanks a lot, you guys. It was fun. And um, I'm glad I finally got this out and played with it. I really like it. So... We'll play around with it some more the next time and maybe use some distress sprays. And I'll be anxious to hear how the distress oxide sprays work. You're welcome, you guys. It was fun. I know, yeah. Once we finally got here, after all the all the interruptions. Okay, thanks guys for sticking it out. And see you maybe at Dorothy's. Otherwise, see you at Dee Dee's tomorrow. Bye. I know, Eileen. I figured you were busy with something. Okay, see you guys later. Uh, I don't want to get paint on my mouth. Shoot. Oh, here we go. There. Bye, Dorothy. You're welcome.